Ever struggle with losing files and having to restore them, not knowing where to go, how to get them back, and most importantly, whether you'll actually be able to use them once you restore them? Well, I've got some favorite software that I love to use for exactly those problems. I'm gonna share my top five list with you coming up now. Hello everybody, my name's Adam Gordon. I'm gonna to talk to you about my top five picks for file recovery software. We all have issues with losing files, having corrupt data, and having a need to bring it back, usually under some sort of stressful circumstance. And it's great to know that there are programs that are gonna help you out. So number one on my hit list is EaseUS, or EaseUS, you could say it either way, Data Recovery Wizard. Works on both Windows and the Mac OS, which is nice because most of the software on my list actually will work on multiple operating systems regardless of what you're using. You can restore data from hard drives, both internal as well as external. A lot of us have USB devices, external drives for storing things on. Usually a lot of archived data will be stored on external devices. This software attaches to and will read from both flash drives as well as any kind of storage solution you can probably imagine. And it's a very simple three-step process to be able to find, understand, and ultimately recover your data. You load the software, you then select what you want to actually focus on, what kinds of files you want to recover. In other words, you then scan to find them, and ultimately, based on the selections presented to you, once the scan completes, you recover the software. Very straightforward. Now, one of the reasons that this particular software package is at the top of my personal list is that I can recover files up to two gigabits or two gigabytes in size for free. Most of the software on my list does have a free as well as a paid option, meaning you can spend money, recover more data, get more features. But I like the fact we can recover basic data up to a certain size for free. So up to two, two gigabits with this particular package and extra special and extra important for a lot of us, for me in particular, this will help me repair MP4s and or MOV files. So you can get your video and audio files recovered, which is often really important, especially if it's for your own personal use, your movies, your media library, those kind of things can get corrupted. You want software that could deal with that and bring them back. Over a thousand file types and extensions are also supported using this software package. All these reasons make it my number one choice. All right, so continuing on, we're going to number two. Not as good as number one, but hey, it's still gonna get the job done for you. Stellar Data Recovery. Again, works on both Windows and the Mac OS. It'll let us recover both formatted, deleted, and or lost data, which is really important because oftentimes the oopsie that leads us to have to recover data is because somebody deleted it by mistake or for some reason it's become corrupted or hidden. And we need to uncover it. Unlike our prior element, the number one on my list, which recovers up to two gigs of data for free, Stellar Data Recovery recovers up to one gigabit for free. So dropped it down to the second spot, really primarily because of the size limitation there. Basically works the same way, basically does the same things as EZUS does. Hard drives, both internal and external, are supported. Flash drives, as well as all sorts of file types. Again, a simple three-step process. Select your file type, select recovery from, meaning where is the source we want to grab that data from. Scan and recover, and you're off to the races. So just like our number one solution, Stellar Data Recovery, number two, operates the same way, does the same things, but only lets you recover half the data for free. But remember, there's always that pay option if you want to spend more money and recover up to, theoretically, unlimited amounts of data. All right, so now at the number three spot, Windows File Recovery from Microsoft for Windows 10. This is the only one in my top five list that actually exclusively works only with Windows, specifically Windows 10. And it's actually from Microsoft, which is also unique because it's not a third party product, but rather specific to the operating system vendor. It's a relatively new tool that Microsoft's put out and it's made available. It's available for download from the app store. So you have to just go and grab it separately, but it is free. Let's be clear about that. It is a command line app, and some of you may or may not be comfortable working with the command line. All the other tools are gonna have graphical interfaces. You can point and click the way you're used to doing. With Windows File Recovery, we can actually go in, recover lost files that have been deleted from our local storage devices, which is very important. 
and files that cannot be restored from the recycle bin in Windows. So if something's gone missing on our local machine or device, we can't use traditional methods like trying to restore from the recycle bin, maybe accidental deletion has occurred, then this tool can be very valuable, but it is limited, can only be used on local data, data that is in a local storage device, so nothing that's external outside of the machine, like on the network or in the cloud, where many of the other tools will scale and allow you to do that. So if you have a specific Windows 10 need, the data was on the local hard drive in the machine, it's gone missing, and you want to give it a shot with a tool Microsoft has built and created just for this purpose, then our number three item on my list is definitely going to be the one for you to check out. All right, we're making our way down the list. We're at number four. This is called Test Disk. I like this software a lot. We can use this two distinct ways. It does great recovery for us. You have to be a little bit more advanced to use this kind of a tool. It's an open source tool, so it's available for anybody to use. You don't have to pay for it, which we like. It's totally free, in other words, unlike many of the other tools, at least three of them on my list, that do have a pay-to-play option if you want to recover large volumes of data. But this one, just like our number three one, the Windows File Recovery Tool from Microsoft is free, but it is a little bit more complicated and you have to step up your game a little bit. If you're looking for a challenge, this tool is definitely gonna be for you. It can be used in two ways, as I was suggesting. We use it primarily to assess the system and collect detailed information about a hard drive or some, for some reason that's not booting or is just not turning on, is not available to us, there's something wrong. This tool can be run from outside the machine. It'll assess the drive, giving you a detailed report, which can be sent to a tech or sent to a support professional for further analysis. So when we're really not sure what's going on, this is a great troubleshooting tool for those of you that are comfortable with and have a little bit more advanced knowledge of how these kinds of systems work. It does a variety of things. It'll fix partition tables. It'll let you recover deleted partitions. It'll recover and or rebuild both fat boot sectors, fat 12, 16, and 32, as well as rebuilding and or recovering and TF boot sectors as well. It'll work with the master file table and the master boot record in the system. It'll work with EXT file systems and partition blocks. It's a multifaceted, versatile tool. And in the hands of an IT professional or somebody with just the ability and the patience to read the documentation and do a little bit of testing to make sure you know how it works, it is probably the most versatile tool of all the five on our list. I put it in number four only because it is more complicated and it does require a little bit of additional time and effort to get it working the right way. So it's not as intuitive as some of the others that are a little bit higher up on the list. All right, number five on our list, the last one, but by no means the least, Carbonite is number five. You probably have heard of Carbonite. It's a very well-known software packet for backing up and restoring files. Most businesses today are using Carbonite. You may even have access to it through work and may also protect your home machines because they actually have, a lot of people don't realize, a home solution that's a lot less expensive. It's only about six or seven dollars a month to essentially get the same backup and recovery capabilities that the business license gives you, which is 30, 40, 50 dollars uh, per machine. So it's actually a really good piece of software, really good deal. You install Carbonite by downloading it, obviously paying your fee monthly or yearly to use the tool. Uh, and you have what's called Carbonite Safe, which is the software that's installed, that runs and scans and does everything. It identifies, it makes recommendations to you, which is one of the reasons I like it a lot, because it identifies files and folders that you are most likely gonna want to protect when it scans your system the first time you set it up, but it also gives you the option to choose them on your own if you would prefer to go in manually and decide which files or folders or combinations of those you want to back up and protect. It then runs in the background automatically, backing up securely and automatically in an ongoing way based on the schedule you set up, your data, copying it up to the cloud storage data centers that Carbonite maintains globally. So no matter where you are in the world, your data can be backed up safely and securely, stored away from your machine, away from your organization, out of harm's way in physically secured data centers that are maintained 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And as a result of that, when it comes to recovery, 
you're able to pull those files back down onto the original machine if necessary, but you can also pull them down into other machines. It gives you a lot of versatility. If the original machine is lost, you leave it somewhere. Somebody steals it, it's damaged because of weather, or because of fire, because of who knows what, and it's just not usable anymore. You can simply log into the web interface from anywhere and you can pull your data back down onto another machine with just a few clicks of the mouse once you provide your username and password. So in terms of versatility, it really is going to be probably the most versatile of all the tools we looked at because it is the most flexible and the easiest to use. All right, everybody, so that's been my top five list. Hopefully one or more of those is gonna pique your interest, get you excited, and most importantly, help you to recover your data if something goes wrong. You can join me and all of the entertainers at IT Pro TV uh, and take a look at more of our content at the site. We cover these kind of tools. We talk about data security and recovery, how to administer systems, and oh, so much more. If you have an educational need, we have the answer and the solution for you. Until you come and join us over there, you come hang out with me, or any of my edutainer friends, I'm going to wish you happy recovering, and I'll see you soon.